Okay, so here we have this um, beautiful Ampex 600 um, preamp vintage thing from the 50s or 60s. Um, I did another video of it um, exploring the circuit and relating this tangle of wires to the uh, schematic. Um, really, really nice piece of equipment. Look at these old components, fantastic. But there is a bit of a safety issue with this thing. Um, so this is the uh, microphone socket and we've got three pins at the back, um, two of which are connected. Uh, the one on the left is the, is the ground, the shielding, and the one on the right is uh, pin two and I've connected that up to my multimeter. So I've got one end of the multimeter on that one and one end on the chassis. And we're going to measure the DC, we've got it set to DC. Range 600, we're going to measure the DC volts. So we're going to turn it on and we've got an adapter here. This is because it's an American, we're in the UK and this is an American uh, device. So we've got a an adapter and it didn't, the other thing was it didn't have, um, the earth wire was attached here but it wasn't connected to the plug. So I've, I've attached an earth um, from the amp bypassing the adapter into the plug here just for a bit of safety um, so I've, gr I've grounded the chassis to to our UK to the U mains okay let's turn it on so as you can see the voltage is shooting up um, uh, shoots right up and then the valve sort of kick in and start to stabilize and we're looking at around about 320 volts DC. So that's 320 volts running into the microphone. Um, and that's DC voltage. So extremely dangerous. Extremely dangerous. Okay, so I'm just going to turn it off. So I had a look. I'm trying to work out what's going on. And um, it looks as if there's been some additional parts added to the circuit. Um, sort of in this is area this corner so I've what I've done is I've drawn it out so this is what the circuit should look like we should be having um, the signal coming in off three going directly into the grid with nothing really there apart from this um, two mega ohm resistor reference resistor to ground so there's no capacitors or anything it's just going directly into the grid um, and pin two should be connected to ground Instead, we've got um, uh, pin 3 isn't connected at all, um, and pin 2 is coming along here, and then we've got two capacitors before it goes to the grid, um, and the other wire in the, in the cable coming from the socket is connected between the two capacitors, but there's no connection. But the, the dangerous thing is, uh, on this pin 2, we've got the line coming in, and then we've got two power resistors um, attaching to the, 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 the high voltage rail, um, which is actually, um, it should be around about 275 volts, but for some reason it's reading a lot higher. And, there's a, and uh, between these two we've got a, um, a power cap as well. Um, it's a bit weird. So all of this stuff is is stuff that's been added. Um, plus, also on this side, there was another resistor going to the same uh, capacitor tank um, and supplying a red wire that wasn't actually connected. And I don't know what that was supposed to have done. But none of this is on this circuit. Um, I've looked online. I've tried to find other schematics, but. Um, uh, of the same thing, because maybe it was a different, a later version or something, but it it doesn't look safe to me at all, and I can't see what the intention is with this. It doesn't there doesn't seem to be any sort of logic in having <laughs> high voltage connected here, and, the, and why have the two cap capacitors there? I don't know. Really, really odd. Um, so uh, I think I'm going to restore it to to this because this looks a lot safer to me and just sort of see if I can get it working like this. Okay, I'll keep you posted.